Shut up. Sweet Nectarous Coffee. Sweet Nectarous Monster. Clearly I'm lacking energy today. Hi friends and foes. Welcome back to my channel or if it's your first time here, hi my name is Melissa or Missa. This is the coolest place on the internet. Welcome. What we thinking, right? <laughs> is this or is this not the best wig you've ever seen in your life? Need to cut the fringe but I'm loving it. Got it on Amazon. I'll link it below if you want to want to check it out. I wore this outside a couple of times now without a hat on. No one's guessed. Anyway today as you can see by the title we are playing with the new Norvina Volume 6. This was a gift to me from a friend and a sausage, Christina. I will link her below. Was not expecting this. I was, I just came basically and uh, I was blown away because I can't really afford to just buy, to just buy it. But I really wanted it because my lord, it's beautiful. Let me show you. Look at it! It's a rainbow palette. It's got glitter in it. Look at the blues, look at the pinks, look at the purples. What did Melissa think? Sunset, obviously. And it's only my first play with a palette. I wanted to do something quick and easy, bish bash bosh, something that I'd maybe do all the time. Um, but just so I could get a review out for you as soon as possible because a couple of my friends and sausages, like uh, Heather and Kerry, maybe some others, they've already done reviews so fast. I will link them below. But yeah. This will be mine, obviously. This is what it looks like. 62 Great British Pounds, which is a lot of money. But Norvina Volume 5, I think it is, is one of my favourite all-time palettes. Quality is phenomenal, so I was very excited to try this. So as always, what we're going to do is swatch the whole thing. Then I'm going to do this look here that's on my eyes. Look at my under eyes. Basically nothing on them. Isn't that weird? And uh, then I'll give you my thoughts on the palette at the end of the video. So if all of that sounds like something you want to partake in... Let's partake in it right now. I'm going to swatch down my big beef arm here. No primer, nothing. I am going to be quite annoying and I'm going to start on the B roll and go down from there because wiping glitter off is the bane of my life. I hate it so much so I'll do those last so I've not got glitter all over my arm for when I'm swatching all the rest of the shadows. I hope you don't mind but let's jump into it. Oh gosh, this is where I destroy my palette by swatching and I don't care. Okay, we have B1. This shade, are you kidding me? B2. I'll probably swatch them all twice by the way, but I might not show the second swatch just so it isn't too long. We've got B3, B4, B5. Oh, that's going to flake right off. I absolutely hate with my whole life these three shades. C1. They are crumbly, but not crumbly in the pan, but crumbly when I dip my big sausage fingers into them. However, I'm not a gentle swatcher. And my C2. Touch my bum. C3. Oh. If I get a palette one day, I'm going to call one of the shades, sit on my face, and another one. Touch my bum and my mum will hate it. C4. She'll be like, Melissa, why did you call it that? C5. That's the second two rolls, not the first two rolls, the second two rolls. B and C. Beautiful variation of purples and pinks. Love the pastel blue, love the yellow. It's just the greens. I'm not a green fan and if it is greens that I'm using it needs to be grungy greens. Think like Melt Gemini kind of greens, don't think like these primary bold greens, I hate them, they actually make my depression worse and I'm not even joking. So uh, yeah, that's the second two rows, let's move on. I feel like some people get me when I say certain colours make me more depressed and other people are like, what are you on about? Primary colours, <laughs> onwards. Okay, we have D1, ah, I actually used this a little bit as a blush today, D2. We think these first three are going to look all a bit samey samey. I would tend to agree with you. D3, which is not technically a shim shim, but it is a matte with sparkle in it. It's got like subtle gold sparkle in it and I only literally noticed that right now. D4, and one of the most beautiful shades in the world. D5, it's like a raspberry gorgeousness. Ugh. Moving on, we have E1. That has some shimmer in it too. Wow, so that's a matte with a sparkle in it as well, but it's such 
a subtle sparkle I literally only noticed now and I've used this on my eyes today and didn't notice any sparkles so take of that, make of that what you will even. E2 Man alive. The amount of eyeshadow I like blow into this room. E3 Again it's a green. That's not the most awful tone of green though in the world is it? But ooh, compared, it's like side by side with that burgundy I'm like E4 Und E5, which is black. ABH does my favourite black eyeshadow. Oh, you see that? Just me. There is the second last two rows. The last two rows. Right? How pretty are those pinks and oranges? I think the first three, we could have had a different shade instead of three oranges. They are different. They are. But are they different enough? Riddle me that. That is the last two. Black swatch great. All of them swatch great. This palette swatch is phenomenal. This is not the first time I've swatched this palette. I swatched this yesterday uh, when it first arrived. Obviously, it could not help it. But you watch, think of them. Think of those apples. Doesn't look quite so summery and fun with those darker swatches mixed in. But you guys will know me. I need the depth. I love when palettes have black in them. And this doesn't just have black. This has white in it as well. Okay, we can swatch my first row now. So gentle on my skin. Gladiators, are you ready? A1. Oh, pretty good white. A2. Which has like orange, lime green, coral, silver, I'll try and show you it better up close. It's just a whole myriad of beautifulness. A3, which is like a kind of weird lilac silver. I'm here for it though. A4, it's another pressed glitter. Usually pressed glitters are not my thing, but I think the tones that they've put in here are really pretty. That one's actually, it feels harder pressed than the other glitter. Glitter, I properly pronounced my T. And a five, which is like a very dark version of Dose of Colours, Tell Me More. Okay, so that is the first row. Again, I know it's annoying that I swatched it like backwards, but I just um, didn't want to wipe the glitter off. I'm trying to zoom in so you can see the reflex of that glitter. You can see the like orange. I don't know if you can see like the lime green. But yeah, that's the, the first row of the palette. Those together are stunning, aren't they? And that white is very impressive. That silver, kind of like lilac shimmer silver is really pretty as well. Ew. Zoom out. Boop. There we go. Swatched it all. What did you think of the swatches? Hi. Very impressed. Personally. Okay, now that we've done that, I'm going to jump into voiceover future Melissa, showing you how I did this look. I like doing voiceover for these kind of videos because it means I can get them out a lot faster and uh, then it's more relevant, I guess. Uh, so I'm going to go do that and then we will meet back up at the end and discuss our thoughts. Hello friends, welcome. Look at my beautiful face. Have you ever seen anything like it? I haven't either. Oh, monster. I'll get the I'll get the juices flowing. So I'm starting off with the black, so I didn't bother picking up the palette and pointing it out because it's the only black in there, so just deal with it. Uh, good black. Swatches really well. I'm not entirely convinced upon application that it is as good as my single shadow in Noir, but it is a good black nonetheless. Then, to start off my sunset, I'm taking E4, which is the dark navy. I quite like navy in a sunset I think it really works because you can blend it into purple super duper easily and uh, I was trying to use as many shades as possible of course this very Melissa look just let me have it for my first play with the palette there's going to be many more times we play with this uh, this is then I think that was E1 so this is the purple that actually has like mini tiny micro sparkles in it and honestly I had no idea <laughs> uh, but it doesn't matter because it works like a matte on me, like when you pop it on and blend it out, it works like a matte. My lord, this shade D5. 
This makes my my soul sing joyous songs to the makeup gods. This is a beautiful colour. I love it with my whole heart. And it's perfect for blending betwixt a purple and a pink, which is C3. You can see there on the palette when you dip in, there is quite a lot of kick up, not a lot. But there's a, a decent amount of kick up on the shadows, but nothing cray cray. It's uh, not even that fallout on the face, which is quite, quite good. I feel like I could have done this look with my base on and not had that much to clean up. And then D1, I just chose one of the oranges, went with this one. Did end up using it as a blush as well, a little bit. Popping that on. Again, I know it's a really Melissa look, but whatever. I uh, I kind of had a few days off YouTube and haven't really had the, the motivation to film, so this was my first day back. In about a week, this is shade B2. This yellow is intense. Oh my goodness. Wow. Um, it's like a neon, 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 intense yellow. Um, it's it's a little bit hard to blend out. It's that intense, but it's glorious. It's like it's what I need it for. Is to be bold and in your neep, and and there it is. So that's how bad this is looking right now. But I always just gonna plump my colours on, get a gist of my shape, and then I'm gonna go back in right now. Look at that and blend it all together. This probably took me about ten minutes. Obviously, this is very sped up. Maybe not even 10 minutes, I don't know. Um, but I always switch to my bigger fluffier brushes and uh, go in this way and then just start really blending and stuff. I can never blend straight away. I always go back and blend. I plonk it on and then I blend. And I think that really helps me personally to get the most vibrance out of my shadows. A lot of people ask how I get it so vibrant and it really is just me uh, blending um, afterwards. Oh, look at this slick transition that totally didn't work put on my cut crease or halo and then B1 was calling my name. It is an intense pastel blue. It is stunning. It is so pigmented. I cannot quite believe it. Uh, just whacking that all over the lid and I'm blending it out with a bit of, I think it's E4, the dark navy one. I tried it on the other eye with the kind of navy shimmer and it wasn't really working. And then a wee bit more black, inner and outer corner, just to deepen it up. And then, come on, how could I not use this? It was obviously a debate between which glitter to use, but this one won because I felt like it would stand out a bit more in the centre of my eyelid, and I think it does. I'm putting it on with a big fluffy brush, and again, I'm not being careful to keep it in the line, because I think it's actually quite pretty having it above it. Um, use my ABH liquid liner, because it goes over everything. Cleaning up a bit and uh, I think that's basically the look there. I don't actually film my under eye because I couldn't decide what to do. I did the other side really fancy and then ended up wiping it off but as you can see all I've done is put a black liner on my waterline then put a tiny bit of black and blue on the outer corner with some bottom lashes and I actually quite like it. I feel like it lets the top eyeshadow completely just speak for itself. Um, that's some tatty lashes I've got on. I'm really pleased with this look. I put more glitter on up the centre, above the brow, through the brow even. Um, my blend's not perfect, never will be, but overall I'm really happy with this look. I like it, it's a sunset. Why wouldn't I like it? People want to see you. They do. No, no, no. You want to see? You want to say hello to everyone? Say, I am sausage. I am the knight. I am vengeance. I am a furry little teddy bear. Here we are then, we have reached the end of this review of Norvina Volume 6. A. How gorgeous is the packaging? I actually can't believe how gorgeous it is. I want to kind of get my fingerprints off it. How gorgeous is that? It's so Norvina's aesthetic. Anyway, in terms of the palette, gorgeous. 10 out of 10. Honestly, it's phenomenal. I don't see, there's nothing wrong with this palette quality wise. Boom. Pigmentation, boom, blendability, bish bash bosh. It's all there. It's a great, great palette. Is it worth £62? It's hard to say. Yes, technically, it's a gorgeous palette. Untechnically, there's other gorgeous palettes out there that are cheaper, a lot cheaper. But if this is your price range, you want to collect the Norvinas, this is what you want, then get it. But if it's not, there's definitely like drugstore palettes out there, like think 
Beauty Bay palettes, all that kind of jazz. They're gonna pretty much do the same thing. But this is stunning. I will say, I absolutely hate the greens. I mean, if I could change anything, it'd be B4, B5, and E3. I would take those out. This green doesn't offend me as much because it's quite a neon fun green, but like, I just don't like those greens. I won't use them, to be honest. Sausage. But like, apart from that, I really don't have any gripes, and that's not a real gripe, that's just a preference thing. Because it's got a white and a black, it's got all the depth, it's got all the bright colours, it's got the pastels, it's got the neons, the mid-tones, some fun glitters. Probably could do with more shimmers in it, but I don't really mind a matte heavy palette, to be honest. I've got a lot of, like, single pigments and glitters and flakies and liquid shadows that I can add to palettes to make them more shiny. I can't really think of anything else to say. I think it is really, really great, and I'm so happy to have it in my collection. Again, thank you so much, Christina. Like, I really just love it so much. I'm gonna be using it tomorrow in my live stream, which I do uh, on Wednesdays for Patreons, but actually I'm doing it on Thursday, so actually maybe it'll already... Yeah, by the time this video goes up, I'll have already done the live. Talking about what you're gonna do in the future on YouTube is weird because it's quite often happened in the past by the time you put the video up. You know what I mean? Anyway, that is my thoughts on the new Norvina Volume 6. I love it so much. Very pricey, can definitely get very good quality, just as good quality shadows in the drugstore. But if this, again, is your kind of price point, what you want to spend your money on, then get it. If not, again, Beauty Bay, BH Cosmetics, their shadows are the tits. So yeah, that's going to be all for me today. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do give it a big thumbs up. It really helps me out. Leave me a comment down below. What do you think of this palette? And uh, subscribe if you haven't already. I put out three videos a week and Wednesdays. I go live for my sausages, aka the Patreons. And uh, it's a fun time. Telegram group, WhatsApp group, Facebook group. We don't have a WhatsApp group anymore. We've got groups. It's fun time. And yeah, I'm going to piss off because Teresa is filming Arnor tonight. And I'm joining her and I'm really excited. So yeah. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope I'll catch you on the flip side. Also, just on a side note, subscribe if you want to see my next video, which is going to be on the Glaminatrix Nocturne.